Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is X, and we're about to do a tier list. Yeah, we're about to be this easy. I'm sorry. But, you know, someone asked me, hey, what do you think of Crim Clock Strike? And, you know, it's been about, been about a week. So I guess I can my my thoughts of them immediately. And kind of like, you know, see where I think of them and how they stand based on my original, my, my original video series. Which, by the way, you can check uh, so, I think, I don't have much to say, I just have, I, I think I have one thing to say, which is like, I have, I probably gonna have, I'm probably gonna have different opinions, three, two, one, I do have one thing to say, I'm probably gonna have different opinions, like a lot of your, like, Vanguard YouTubers, uh, primarily because I'm more so of a casual player, but even then, I know when a car is good, and I know where cars are not. I have I have my own opinions. I'm not gonna change them. Well, I opinions do change. What what am I saying? Let's just get let's get started over because I ain't got no time for this. Uh so we're gonna start with the Royal Paladin stride. Um if I'm gonna be completely honest. He has a role. But the the problem is that he's stuck in a G zone. No, no, no. Let me first. His ability to kind of like bypass the effects of you know who, you know, Gredora, and be able to make plays is fine. In that regard, he is an okay option for non June Knight Royal Paladin. But non jewel ramp royal paladin ain't the meta build run. The real meta build is jewel knife royal paladin, and they can already bypass Gradora thanks to Salome and Crystalus. I'm gonna talk so slow. Uh, so, with that in mind, he's awkward. Because his entire reason for existing is to bypass stuff like Gridor. But in the current meta build, they can already do that. And they can attack with another Vanguard attack. So, with that in mind, he is a C tier strike. For what he meant to get through and meant to work with yeah what meant to work around he's fine but i mean he's fine right he's not anything flashy he's not anything powerful but the clan currently has a better option with better results so you see he's not terrible He's just there. Speaking of just there, the Oracle Thetic Stride, the Nanda Dragon, it's in B. It's only in B because of his interaction with the Over Trigger. And by that, I mean you just get 100 million power and you just add to your hand. You know, for a free thing to show. But outside of that, it's, it's an okay stride. It can plus on board. It can activate trigger effects, meaning you just kind of like scry, sky top three, uh, call to units, get a trigger effect. If you hit the over trigger, you get the hundred million power. You add the card to hand, you know. In that regard, it's actually pretty decent, and I would say like generic OTT really loves this. On to Angel Feather. This card is probably A. It's not a like super super nasty multi attacking like stride. But as I said in my original video, one of OTT's not one OTT, one of Angel Feather's biggest weaknesses was a mediocre first strike. This is this fixes a good chunk of their issues. Not all of them, 
but fixes them enough so that you can legitimately play the deck now and not feel bad. There's still some issues and they be cleared up, but this is a nice, like, good spot. I say this is a really good A. Its utility is amazing. Its, its flexibility is really important. It, it just does a lot. Doesn't really feel bad. Um, Shadow Paladin. I, I kind of want to be. It is effectively the uh, Diablo replacement. Whether you think it was like Spectral or Phantom Blaster, it depends on which you build. I'd say Spectral Blaster, but you could also say PvD. Being able to being able to restand in the clan that if for matchups like you have issues with where like like a link joker or a, I don't know. Something like that. I say like an issue with Link Joker, but you know what I mean. We'll get to you. But I think it's a really good utility stride. It's not a Mofessa, but for what it does, I think it's really good and a nice solid replacement. Um, next, Gold Paladin. You are C. I've thought about it, and the more I've thought about it, the more I've come to the conclusion of the strike's still decent, but it costs a lot for something that the Shadow Paladin Strike kind of does a little bit better. Not saying it's bad. Again, just not saying it's bad. Just the Shadow Paladin kind of does better. And for, you know, the cost to restand doesn't really feel worth it. No, it, it feels worth it for those certain situations. But, eh? Like, it's nothing really too special. Alright, um, on to the Genesis Stride. It's on City Indeed here. Word. Were Taro to still be around, this card be nasty. But while they currently do not have like a a multi attacking like unit in that sense, whereas like yeah, their build can use multi attackers. You know Taro's Taro's banned. You're not really using like Camadil and Melissa in that way, so. And you're currently at best build, really just wants to resend a Vanguard three times and just punch you in the face. It's 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 released now, which thank god. But it's just not good stride. Not not good stride, at least right now. Uh speaking of right now. I've thought about it. Also, probably indeed, definitely better than Jensen though. <sighs> Kagero. You know, people, as much as I would like for Kagero to get back to more control style, people are just gonna slam Dragon Global DX over and over again. Like, I, I wish, I wish that wasn't the case, but the cross is the most busted card I've seen in a while. It's literally a credit card. And why would you give all that power up just to build a crow deck? Again, you can do it, but if we're speaking like a more like competitive style, this book doesn't have a slot, but it has a, a home. It's just that home is currently not good. Uh, Nubatama? B. Probably A? Fluctuating between. I'll probably put in A just for symmetry. But. Mm, mm, I'll probably put like. High B. High B. Uh, 
um, just the ability to like, either rip out three cards in hand from your opponent's hand, or draw three, get plus three, and get 30k. Just sounds pretty good. Not busted, but pretty good. Um, Tachikaze, you are in B as well. You're you're like middle of the pit row right now. Your the ability to just like probably pop off and go crazy is there, right? Like there's obviously a room to G zone for you. Just it depends. It it will depend on the matchup, and there was a strike that was already released that's arguably better. So. It's, it's hard to really justify it, you know? Um, this is Murakumo. Probably. Like around here, too? Probably around the same lane. Um, a, a decent first strike that they desperately needed once they lose Nue Dio. And gets them to more late game plays. It's their multi attacks that still go in. Gets you uh, plusing. I, I, yeah. Just, just not a lot to say about it. It's just generically good. Um, Narukami. I'm gonna be honest. It's probably overhyped, but I think it's still like low A. Just, still pretty good. Still generically good, but. It more so, it's definitely like an anti Excel tech. And if, like, one day, like, the actual, like, G Striders get, like, new forms or whatever, this could be even better. So, yeah, I think A is okay. It's not, not anything. Honestly, I, honestly, were not for the fact that Stun for us exists. I would put this in B so fast, but it's A. Um, Nova Grappler. Um, probably C though. Like, I, it's definitely a very greedy stride. It is very much all in or nothing, which is, you know, kind of what Nova Grappler does. But I just think there's so many styles, there's so many strides in which uh, Nova can go into that really playing this card really isn't all that impressive. Still cool. Um, next, let's see. Dimension Police B. Like again, very similar to Nova Grappler. Really cool stride. Allows more burst plays. But just you have different options. You have Geom Glass, you have Excalib. Your your G Zone's too stacked to make this like more of like a big play. And it at least has utility that's different from the Nova Grappler stride that actually can come come in a pinch. Uh, Link Joker D. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. This is probably like it's not the worst stride because I'm honestly like, looking at everything. I'm like, you know what? None of them exactly the worst stride, but like there's some issues. That being said, Link Jokers doesn't kind of helps the clan, but it doesn't really help the clan. You get what I mean? I've already mentioned this in my videos. Like, it has the problem that Gear Chronicle has, but worse, and that is trying to fix a lot of the. Trying to combine the stride with all of them, 
but instead kind of doesn't really do what's necessary. Um, next, Spike Brothers, S, this card is bahonkers, <laughs> like, it is what Spikes really needed, a good first stride that wasn't as, that wasn't slow like Agrius, gives them a lot of offensive pressure, allows for combos, it's just really good. Like I think Sparks really like were like a big winner out of this set. Um, B for Doctor Wigglers. I think this stride is pretty decent, but that's about it. I don't like it's the clan's still on an MLK Charot Master Film and Shamanigans. And wow, I'm, I'm really tired. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and it's just there. Like it's a nice try to go into, but it's pretty much meant to be like your finisher, or you just gain so much advantage that you can just punch your opponent in the mouth, and it's really matter. Yeah. Speaking of punching the mouth. Um, I'm gonna say it. Probably like high C for Pale Moon. It, it could be, it could be B tier, but it has a similar portion to all the like beer tier, beer shrides have, in that there's not much room for it because all the other like. Rebelve and Dex can just do what it does, but better. And like, its utility is like, okay, but... No. There's just not much to say about it. I've already said my piece on everything. It's just there. Um... Um, I B. And no, this isn't Gear Congo bias. I think the stride is doing, you know, what I said about Link Joker, which was trying to combine everything all at once. But this is probably the closest. This is probably the closest like Link Joker. I mean, Gear Congo has had to an actual playable stride in a while. Because Grok Rock wasn't cutting it, and history build was okay, but it has a queer weakness that makes what it was trying to do just not really work out. So there's that. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Uh, Grand Blue. You need to be shot. <laughs> Like, this stride is actually really insane when you hit the 30. Which it can actually do with, with way more ease than you think. And control itself at that point. So, with that being said, the stride is nasty late game. And you can use. And just like. Grand Blue's like Stride G Zone is really cracked. And this is just not a cracked thing to add on to it. Uh, Spin Cracked. High A for Bermuda Triangle. Stride's really good, but it might be just a bit overhyped. Uh, Aqua Force. Probably around here. Yeah, B tier has so many problems that all the other like low beers have, which is Jesus owns already like has some really good stuff. Can't really change it, but.
but it's a okay idea concept for utility i guess you argue some budget in there to be like hey this is a budget option but if your other strides are just like 20 30 dollars uh meg colony low a this stride by itself ain't good i'm just saying right now if you stride into it it doesn't really do much but that's not why you're using it you're using it for the door which yeah it's nasty but even then it's not completely nasty it's only on a just off the strength of his ability to use his own love i'll say that there's nothing there Great nature D. I got nothing to say. And last but not least, New Nectar High B. New Nectar has been struggling. So having an actual like stride they can use that isn't just boom locked or token like busted actually gets in there. It'll be interesting to see like what they do going forward. For the build, but I see some potential. So yeah, that's all the strides in pre-collection. Uh, next time, we'll go through all the G guards in pre-collection. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.